Okay, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from Tarot Readings Live and PsychicsLive.com.au. Today we're going to bring you your reading for the next 7 to 14 days. If it doesn't resonate with you, remember to release it back to the, to the universe and check your moon and your ascendant sign as there may be something there for you. So energy for Scorpio, please. Let's see what energy we have for Scorpio. Blooming. Blooming, Scorpio. This is a card of things coming to reality. Things that you want to see happen will happen. There'll be good news coming your way. There'll be things that you see now that you didn't see before. Everything makes sense now. There's information coming to you that either one, you are wanting, or two, you are needing. And you'll have amazing thoughts like out of nowhere, you'll think of something and it wasn't by mistake. It's, it's all coming in your direction so that you can blossom and make do with what you want to do with it with what I mean by that sorry and it can be a bit confusing when I'm receiving energies and when I'm receiving messages is what they're saying is there's going to be messages coming to you thoughts that come to you dreams that you have and nothing is by mistake everything comes for a purpose and a reason and that's for you to blossom to make the best of what you have and to make the best of what you're doing it's a master number. 33 is growth. It's potential. It's, it's growth on steroids, really. It, it's a huge amount of energy coming your way to give you that, that push that you needed, that, um, that the thoughts that come to you are going to be magnificent to take you to that next level. Extremes. From, and I, I, Scorpio, one thing that I was saying here is it takes you to another level and that's exactly what it is. So the extreme of something, it's not going to be a little thought, it's going to be a big thought or a big action or big news or big information that comes your way. It's not going to be something that is just a casual um, occurrence or a casual conversation or casual news that comes your way. It's going to be big things and those big things and the extreme of those will make you be better for it, achieve more than you imagined and move forward in a, in a, a in speed. It's like it's going to move you forward quickly, not at normal speed. And you, some of you may be taken back by that, thinking, where did all this come from? Purity, look at that. Just stay pure. Stay pure in your thoughts, in the way you think, what you say. It's important now not to let negativity come into your circle. Move away from negative people or negative information or negative chit-chat. Um, you don't want any of that right now. It's remain as pure as you can to receive the blessings that the universe is sending you. Beautiful. Okay, let's see what we have with the tarot for Scorpio, please. There's a huge energy here, Scorpio, and a huge energy of achievement. What have we got for Scorpio, please? And if you're wanting to meet that beautiful person, you are going to meet that person. But someone who not only comes your way, but from word go, you have this feeling of belonging. You have this feeling like you've known this person. The Emperor. Look at that. The Emperor is someone who is absolutely certain of who they are, what they want, which way they're going. Their opinion is very opinionated, of course, but it's someone who is in charge of their life, of their wants, of their needs, and they make things happen. It's a week of action here, a week or 14 days of action. And it's not small, Scorpio. Look at, oh, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. The treasure of finances. Whatever it is that you're doing, Scorpio, if you are uncertain or if you are in doubt, 
have no doubt. By the end of the 7 to 14 days, you're going to have some valuable information, valuable insights, a huge career, a promotion, a financial abundance, some, a promotion that's going to bring you a lot of money, a position that's going to put you in charge of a, a corporation or in charge of a company, which in turn is going to bring you a lot of money. This is a project or a business that you're doing or that you're getting yourself into which is going to have a huge return. So you're on the right track. If any of you here were doubting whether what you're doing is, is the right thing to do, absolutely. The universe is saying yes, yes and more yes. Look at that. A new beginning, a new project for some of you here. You may have still this in, in um, thought. It might be an idea that you have that you want to implement. And now it's, you're, it's like you're going to receive a push from the universe, information that you need to get this going. It's now time to get your hands on that drive to go forward. Get your hands on that baton and take it with you and just run with it. It's new beginnings. And not only that, this is going to bring you a huge financial abundance. So the blossoming, the blossoming is not here by mistake. This is what you're meant to be doing in this lifetime. Scorpio, look at it. Number 33. It's a spiritual number of growth in abundance. You know, I always say things are never by mistake. And this is one of those things where you're going to understand that you're on the right track, you're on the right path, you've chosen the right thing, and look at that, the celebration. For someone here, you're about to get promoted, or you're about to come into some money, or you're about to launch something which is going to be above and beyond your expectations. It's not your norm. It's above and beyond. It's the extreme. It's the extreme, and it's going to be more than what you imagined. I don't know what it is that you're doing here, Scorpio, but whatever it is, just know that it's not by mistake that you're thinking this way, you're doing this. And look at that, the devil on the bottom, which is a materialist. Look at that. You're headed in the right direction. You're headed for success. You're headed for great material things, financial abundance, everything becoming clear and right in your career, in your projects, in your business. Whatever it is that you're launching now is perfect. Whatever it is you're starting now is perfect. Any promotion that you get now, you were meant to get that. It was already destined for you. Nothing is by mistake here, nothing. So for someone here that wanted an answer, you have it. Very clear. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio, please. Decisions. Look at this. The two of fire. It's you contemplating which way to go, how to do this best. You're going to need to make some decisions along the way that may be the difference of um, being making it more successful than ever but i feel that these decisions are going to come to you via dreams thoughts or information that you receive to make the decision a lot easier the ten of water it's going to bring you so much happiness, Scorpio. You're in for a time of change here. This is transformative. It's not your little steps that people take. This is going from 8 to 88 in, in record time. You're going to see things grow overnight. You're going to see things fall into place all of a sudden. You're going to see information come to you, prospects, customers, clients. It's all going to happen now and that's going to take you to a huge platform of not only financial abundance but satisfaction gratitude you've made some correct decisions there Scorpio 
Look at that, the mother giving birth to a new invention, giving birth to a new career, a new project, like we said. You may also have contact with a, uh, a powerful woman, but I do feel here that you're going to have someone beside you that helps you create this new, is there by your side. And it could be a mother figure, it could be a wife, it could be a partner, but someone who's going to be there to care, nurture and encourage you to keep going, to be the best that you can be. I feel here it's more support. You'll be celebrating this with uh, an important woman in your life. The King of Water. For some of you here, you may decide that you'd like to propose in a relationship that you're in or you'd like to take that to the next level. You're going to be at peace with yourself in, in gratitude that you're ready to take on a new lease of life. It's like a new move, a new project, a new relationship or expand the relationship that you're in right now. Grow it, encourage it, love it and nurture it. Look at that. For some of you here, Scorpio, you doubted yourself. You doubted that what you imagined would ever be what it is, or that you had this idea, or you had this vision, but you couldn't see how it was going to work, or you had a, a puzzle, a plan, but there was missing pieces to this puzzle. There was missing pieces to this plan. And some things didn't make sense. So you started to doubt. You started to question yourself. You started to question your ideas. You started to question the way you saw things. You started to lose faith in your thoughts, in your feelings. And now you're going to see how powerful you can be by seeing things in a different way, a different vision, a different idea, a different way of doing something. Whatever it is, it's not going to be small. What do we have for Scorpio here, please? Don't give up. Whatever it is that you do, don't give up and don't, don't let it scare you. Like I said before, you might go from 8 to 88 and grow very quickly. And that for a lot of people, it scares them or they take the foot off the pedal because they think it's too quick, too soon. Don't think it's too quick, too soon, Scorpio. Just go with the flow. Let it go and keep going. Because in life, sometimes we're given an opportunity or a proposal or an option to do something. And if we don't take it there and then, or if we don't go with the flow and, and do what it's asking us to do, we lose momentum, which then we lose faith and hope and everything starts to fall apart. So what they're saying here is, it might be an extreme, but just believe and don't give up. Don't take the foot off the pedal here. Wrong cards. <laughs> Wrong deck. I get it. Okay. What have we got for that Mud? Look at that, the doubt. Make no mistake that there's change here, Scorpio. Change that you didn't see coming or you had no idea it was going to be as big as it was or is going to be. But don't let the doubt and the fear hold you back. That's what that's saying. It's just, con it's just confirming what we just spoke about. This prosperous time ahead. Look at that. Don't give up. Number seven again. Number seven. It's... It's a time now to change with the times. Remember I said to you about the extreme and don't give up? That was number seven. You've got another seven here. Look up Angel 77. There's going to be a message there for you. Angel number 77. You're going to change overnight. A, a, a snake changes its skin. 
when the skin that they're in no longer belongs to them, no longer fits who they are. And that's going to be you. It's like there's going to be a huge transformation that you're going to look back and think, I never imagined this would happen or I never imagined I would change or look how far I've come. Look how much has happened. And on the bottom we've got the garden, which is making decisions that's going to be right for all. Your decisions are not only going to be about you, the new ideas, the new decisions that come into play are going to be about a new way of doing things that many people want and desire. So whatever it is that you're doing or whoever it is that you're working with, you're going to need to find ways of being able to spread what you're doing over a, a huge difference in people. For example, different nationalities, different customs, different, that's what I mean, that's only an example. I don't know what it is that you're doing, but it says here that the decisions that you make are going to have to fit a lot of people in the community, in their differences, that's what it is. So I don't know if that makes sense for somebody here, but it's like you're going to accommodate many people in the community with what you're doing. There's going to be a want and a need for what you have, what you're producing, your ideas, your vision. And that's the success here. Whatever you decide, it needs to fit for many. Like you know how, another example, you know how sometimes you buy clothing and it's one size fits all. It, it, it has a widespread range for a lot of people in the community. And that's what it is here. It's, not, it's like whatever you're doing is going to have a fit and a need for a huge amount of people in the community. Does that make sense to anybody here? Let me know if this makes sense, Scorpio, to you. Lots of love and light your way. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.